something about this team, about this year, about the season. You look at the Memorial Stadium game, the records that have bro been broken here, the undefeated season until they went on the season or went on the road late in the season to face Wisconsin. It's a team that is young, but has a lot of fight. Absolutely young, but very seasoned. They come into this with a lot of experiences, maybe not college experiences, but a lot of experiences that they've really tapped into. But as you mentioned, that no, you know, that mentality where they're not going to quit. Yep. They're going to keep fighting. They're going to keep wanting to get better and playing at a higher and higher level. Well, you saw Ahmad play Martinez. He's in his first season with the Sharks of Long Island, LIU. He came from St. Francis in Brooklyn. Four players followed him. So four former St. Francis Brooklyn players on this Sharks squad. And here is Bergen Riley to start it off for Nebraska. That goes outside right away, but into the block. And Nebraska starts off on the block on the right side, shutting down Amaris Smith. Well, Mayor Smith off the net there, but also Nebraska's got a big block that they're going to be facing, probably larger than maybe they've seen through much of their season. And so it'll be interesting to see how they respond to that and how they work their way around that. Goes outside, Polina Rubel not down. Merritt Beeson, swing, no touch. That is long, point LIU. Beeson didn't get on top of that ball. You can saw, saw that ball came to her, and she kind of hit the back of the ball versus the top of the ball, sends it long. And to serve is Jordan McDonald out of Portage, Michigan, Portage Central High School. Tough jump serve handled by Choboy. And run the middle, Maggie Mendelson in there in the middle for Nebraska, and Mendelson with the kill. Big quick transition there, Mendelson right in front of the hitter, uh, excuse me, in front of her setter, slices that ball through. Here's Harper Murray to serve. She's been terrific from the service line <laughs> late in the year. Really struggled to start the season. Yeah. A lot of service errors, but kind of gained that confidence that she now leads Nebraska in aces. Really, you know, they talked about her focusing on that serve and really kind of refining it. The in to air ratio was just too great and just had to work through that. And as of late, been very tough. Selena Coach, KOC. Out of Ismir, Turkey. Big swing there by Ali Batenhorst from the left pin, and Batenhorst with her first kill. Cutting that ball underneath the block, just that slice, thumb down shot to the far sideline. Lexi Rodriguez. Big Ten Defensive Player of the Year for Rodriguez this year. Her second such honor is that is returned long point Nebraska. She's just a tremendous player in the back row and just her platform, her control of the ball, her um, knowledge of being in the right place has really stood out and really um, caught people's attention from the first day she stepped yeah. you know, out on the court here in the conference. Tough serve there. Beeson steps in and then on the overpass, put down by Celine Makura. Makura doing a great job. That ball popped up. There's nothing there that Bergen Riley could do as she's a back row um, setter. Makura take advantage of it, threw it right down. Makura, good size, 6'5. She's a junior transfer from Utah. Certainly know a lot about the Utah program. One of the top of the country is kill in the middle by Andy Jackson for Nebraska. Jackson staying in front of the setter. That quick transition is really being. Um, making it very difficult for the blockers of the Sharks to get hand on the ball, get in front of their. Beeson with the tough serve, and she's got the ace. That is the 28th ace of the season for Merritt Beeson. Nebraska's doubled up LIU here early. Another, Another tough serve, a lot of movement on that. Bump set, sends it over. On the slide, Jackson off the block. Great diving up by Cologne. 
Second touch, Bergen Riley with the kill. Yeah, the official, the line official ah. trying to get people's attention or the up official's attention as the ball came across to the Nebraska side outside, but Bergen and Riley left no doubt. <laughs> <laughs> Unanimous all Big Ten first team was Beeson mm. this year. Boy, the honors that Nebraska picked Ugh. up late in the season, the only Really, the only award they didn't win was Player of the Year. Yeah. And there's a touch there, and the kill again by Batenhorst. And I don't think it's a surprise that Sarah Franklin is named Big Ten Player of the Year. Franklin is just a phenomenal player, and again, really showed herself actually this last weekend just what a dynamic player she is, especially out of system, taking, you know, raggedy balls and doing positive things with them. But um, Nebraska, as you mentioned, pretty much cleaning up all the others, including the coach of the year for Coach John Cook. Yep. Both media as well as coaches voting him in that role. Rumor Roulet overpass and puts it down. Both the kills for LIU have been overpasses for but they've done a nice job taking advantage of it and cleaning them up. Pushed outside, here's Batenhorst, tools the block. And Allie Batenhorst with another kill. She has three swings, three kills. She's really played very strong as of late, doing a great job up at the net, making decisions um, with what she's got in front of her. And um, she's seen success because of that kind of change of mindset in her attacking. Yeah, her improvement has really put Nebraska in a situation where they are very diverse in any rotation, mm -hmm. multiple hitters who can terminate multiple places. You got Merritt Beeson on the pick <laughs> out of the back row, certainly another option. Another outstanding option. She's so good at that, and what she does is really takes that to those sidelines. You can see there, there's just no way that the defense can cover that much court. Laney Choboy serving. Tipped over, miscommunications that went off the hand of Jackson and whiffed by Riley and hit the floor. <laughs> Back to serve, Ali Mers. Mers playing in Long Island, and she's from Portland, Oregon. <laughs> I bet those trips home for the holidays are long. And that's probably the only time <laughs> she gets that trip that's home. Right. Harper Murray with the kill. She got the touch. That's her first swing and first kill. And as we we're talking about awards, she was freshman of the year in the Big Ten for her consistent play. And really, I think she s stepped up in key moments, you know, late in matches that's really kind of um, got people's attention. There are probably a couple of those that Big Ten coaches and observers thought could go either way as mm -hmm. Mendelssohn on the slide there. Rodriguez certainly comes with her reputation of previous Big Ten yep. defensive player. She won that, and then the other battle was between Shaquin mm -hmm. and Harper, Harper Murray Bay. for that freshman of the year, and Harper Murray was the choice of the coaches. Tough serve. serve. Not much I could do with that. And you'll see Kennedy Orr. She generally serves from the right back um, behind the line. She's been serving here from behind the left side. So moving her a little different location. The ball has a different flight path and pattern. Oscar's in control here in the first. LIU takes a timeout. Nebraska on top, 13-5. First round action of the Division I NCAA Women's Volleyball Tournament. Number one seed, Nebraska taking on the Sharks of Long Island. Thirteen five lead here early on. Tight to the net. 
pushed over by Plante. And the tip. And Harper Murray with another kill. Great decision. Defense was deep down the line. Murray just that soft touch over the hands of the blocker. Defense has a lot of court to travel to try and get to that. Huskers hitting 750 here in set number one. The only hitting error they have is that one early on by Merritt Beeson. There's a short serve, tough to handle. Pushed outside off the block. Good swing and a kill there by Melendez. Melin her in warm up. She's yeah. got a heavy, heavy swing. I was just going to say, Melendez looked good early on as we were watching her prep and warm up. But big swing there, catches the hands. When you got a big block, you've got to find alternative um, ways to get around. Use through, over the top. Opportunity here for the Sharks. They'll run the middle into the net called on LIU point for Nebraska Just the, that free ball didn't get handled real cleanly and really kind of made things tight and difficult for the setter and then in yeah. Followed up with the hitter everybody kind of tight And the ace for Riley Two aces early on for Nebraska and another handful that have really put mm -hmm. LIU out of system. It's really keeping the pressure on with this tough serve. Block back, good chicken wing to keep it alive. Melendez right at Beeson and Beeson put it down. Block at both pins there. Mendelssohn had to work both ways, but the outside um, blocker is really doing a great job setting up and being strong, pushing that ball into the court. Serve is long from Riley. Brule back in now for the Sharks. Rumor Roulet out of Tucson, Arizona. Led the conference in back-to-back -back years in blocks. Serve here by McDonald. For Murray gets the ace. That is 32 on the year for Murray. As we mentioned, that's been a focus, and when she gets them in, they're they're very difficult to pass. So the goal has been keeping them in. Mable Martinez will take another timeout. Sharks trail here in set one, 19-7. And Lincoln, Nebraska, it is a sellout tonight for Nebraska's first round game against the Sharks of LIU, Long Island. 19-7, Nebraska in control, hitting 750 to negative 056 for LIU. Another tough serve, good pass though. Harper Murray one handed up. Batenhorst into the block, and the block got it. Good block by Ruma Roulet. She leads this team in block, and actually the um, Northeastern Conference wow. with 119 blocks this season. She averages about 1.8, so she is definitely a threat up in the, at the net when it comes to blocking that first line of defense. Yeah, and her first-year head coach, Amable Martinez, they started the season rough. I mean, six consecutive losses to open the year. They lost to Arizona, uh, to Iowa State and Arizona in that Grand, was it Grand Canyon Grand University tournament? Mm -hmm. Where they lost to Kansas State on the road 11 days after Nebraska beat Kansas State in Manhattan. There's an ace by Alexi Rodriguez, but they've really, uh, as of late, turned it around. They've won six of their last seven. 
beat the number one and number two seeds in the Northeast Conference Tournament. And, and again, it's just about getting a new coach, mm -hmm. creating a new culture, creating a new team. You know, had yep. a lot of transfers coming in, and um, that takes some time, but they stayed with it. I think that's the key part. And, uh, and we talked about, too, they're playing their very best right now, and that's when you want to be doing, uh, doing that. Omera Smith back to serve. Pushed outside, Batenhorst. Good diving up by Colon, the libero. Murray with a good up. Batenhorst swipes it off the block, and block comes right back down on Nebraska's side. Try to swipe that out of bounds, just uh, couldn't get it out far enough in the good hand position of the block. That's really key, hmm. preventing that, pushing it back in. Big block on that right side again. Back-to-back -back blocks over there for the Sharks. Just great setup, and look at the hand position. Yeah. You can and really tell what a difference that makes. She's going up, reaching over, and pushing to the middle of the court. 3-0 run for LIU. Push behind. There's Allie Batenhorst on the back line. Third time's a charm. <laughs> Three different shots and found one that would work. Twenty-two, eleven. Tough serve. Yeah. Great save and great play out of the net. Tried the deep corner and dug out. Another great play out of the net. Bump set to Batenhorst, out of system, good dig. Love the scrappiness. Some scrambling going on here, and Andy Jackson ends it for Nebraska. Great opportunity to see some big plays here. Nice finish by Andy Jackson as she comes around on the slide, but two big plays out of the net by the Sharks. Those are hard balls yeah. to, to, to handle. Did a great job with that. Good touch. Aggressive swing. Two great ups right in the hands. Ooh, just wide, but wow, did oh. she hit that hard. There was uh, some aggression on that one from Harper Murray. Absolutely, but I'm loving Merritt Beeson making two big plays off the court and popping him up and right in the hands of Bergen Riley. Just wide on the aggressive serve. And that will give Nebraska set point here in the first. And the crowd at the Devaney Center on their feet. On the slide. Jackson could have taken that about anywhere she wanted to. <laughs> she had the middle of the floor, one blocker up, who wasn't even up in time. <laughs> watch, watch this. She just decided to go line. Yep. And missed it. Murs to serve. Set point number two. Down the campfire. Setter dump sends Nebraska to a victory in set number one. Huskers roll over LIU in the first, the final 25-13 in set one. Nebraska on top here at home, one set to none in the NCAA tournament.
Welcome back here to the Bob Devaney Sports Center in Lincoln, Nebraska for first round NCAA women's volleyball action. Nebraska hosting the Long Island Sharks in round number one. Nebraska hit 269 while LIU a negative 040. So definitely the offense production for Nebraska much higher than for LIU. Nebraska serve really also was mm. a key factor in that. They had four service aces and really kept the pressure on. And even when they didn't get an ace, they really pulled um, LIU out of system. So ready to go, set number two, Nebraska and the Sharks of LIU. Look around the rest of at least this side of the bracket. It's been all chalk so far. Missouri with the win earlier tonight over Delaware. On the other side, Georgia Tech beat South Alabama last night, and Florida was a winner. If it stays chalk, Mary Wise and her team will make a trip in here to Florida. That would be fun to see. That would be fun. Merritt Beeson, a transfer from Florida. Third round matchup with her former teammate. Good pull back in by Choboy. Upset Rodriguez out to Murray. And Harper Murray. <laughs> She's just got a lot of heat on the ball and opponents really struggling and the Sharks here, um, they're getting their hand on it but can't control it. Oh, good angle. Good slide run by Paulina Rubel, and she gets the kill. Rubel really, you can see she takes that ball hard across her body and catches that far side, slight, keeping it underneath the blocker's hands. Rubel competed on the Puerto Rican Olympic team. She's a transfer, along with the follow her old coach from St. Francis. Francis, Brooklyn, yep. And St. Francis dropped the pro program. Mm. So that was part of the reason yep. for, and again, uh, fortunate for LIU to grab him up and some of the players. Total of four. Mm -hmm. Aggressive serve there by Cologne into the net. Off the overpass, Mendelssohn puts it down. Maggie Mendelssohn. Mendelssohn doing a great job up the net. She's up in that base position. That ball comes up knowing that the right side setter um, is in front of her, takes it off to the edge. Selena Coach back to serve now for the Sharks. Beeson pulled it right inside the block. Got it by the hands of Roulet for the kill. Beeson's so good about taking that ball around the block, underneath the block, using their hands. Just a great shot there. Served by Rodriguez. Bump set behind. Here's Batenhorst. Good dig by Cologne. And it goes out of bounds, not off of LIU in point for the Sharks. 
Andy Jackson up there got a little overexcited and then took it a little bit wide. Serve is long. And good communication. <laughs> Could hear Lexi Rodriguez calling it out for Harper Murray from here. Quick tempo ball. Nebraska's block was there. Good point one by LIU. Roulet once again being patient up there at the block, knowing that this back row and hangs and throws it back on the Nebraska side. Second touch and over, Bergen Riley. She's been a little more aggressive yep. with the second touch here tonight. As I say, we've seen her getting in the action. I know Coach Cook has encouraged her to be offensive-minded when she's in that front row. Um, and she's got two, I believe, three tonight. Little block again, there's Andy Jackson. the block but out Riley is hands again excuse excuse me um, Andy Jackson's hands pushing to the outside you can see she takes a little cheat step to the outside but then doesn't finish off that block with pushing those shoulders into the middle of the court and that's why it's going out of bounds Goes off and out, point for Nebraska. Huskers up by three here in set two. Tight set two. Kennedy Orr back in now, she'll serve. They move her over again on that left back corner. See if she serves down the line again. Yes, she does. Bump set. And another kill. There's Melendez. Melendez, her third kill. Sharks hitting right at 200 in this current set. So that's a positive increase. Nebraska only hitting 143 in set number two. Camilla Melendez now serves. Good hustle. Melendez outside off the top of the block. Right down the line goes Harper Murray. Gets the kill. Harper Murray with a lot of pace on that ball. The ball, the block was inside. She had a lot of line there. She sneaks it right between the block and the pin. Beautiful hit. Merritt Beeson right off the dig of Mers gets the kill. Beeson up high, her contact point on that really gave her an opportunity to hit at the nice sharp angle. Back row off the scoreboard, kept alive.
Smith with the heavy swing. Right back to Smith again. Block touch for Nebraska. Rodriguez. What a shot by Beeson. Great job by Bergen Riley playing great defense. And then Lexi Rodriguez steps in, makes a great uh, set for Beeson to finish. Just out on the court, too. Beeson going back, talking to Rodriguez. Mm. Again, I, I just love Beeson's leadership out on the court, too. And Tip. Got it down. That ends Nebraska's 3-0 scoring run. And Bergen Riley is there, there, really just didn't cleanly make the play. Mendelssohn got the touch. Nice job there by Mendelssohn, but also Bergen Riley doing a great job taking the tight ball with one hand, flicking it up. But Mendelssohn was up and ready, and that's key. And the confidence that Riley had that she was going to be there. I believe that's the third service yep. error. Yep. Solita coach now back to serve. Got the touch point for LIU. Good shot there. Yeah. Kind of just to find the hands there. Take a second look at that. Going up and at him. Good swing by Allie Batenhorst right inside the sideline, gets the kill. Batenhorst likes to take the ball hard cross court, and so this feeds right into her strength. Riley outside. Baton horse is dug by Melendez. Tip, was it down? No, point LIU. Just wide from Baton horse and Nebraska spun and wanted a touch, and John Cook is going to challenge. First challenge here of this match between the Sharks and the Huskers. Close. Yep, not sure. There we go. Take a look. Yeah, difficult to see there, yep. wasn't it? Yep, that was. Uh Hard yep. at live speed. A lot of fans were wondering maybe, you know, if we might see Lindsay Krause tonight. Krause still in her street clothes on the bench. I know she's been practicing a bit with the team, that maybe not full speed yet. Right. Here's another look, see if we see a touch. I don't know a lot of people wanting Krause to. Um, oh, yeah. Yeah. Got that that right one there. there. Yep. Good look right there. This should uh, be overturned, we believe. For 
point. Lindsay, you know, talk about somebody who was on way to have yeah. a Big Ten, you know, all Big Ten type of year. It was Lindsay Krause who, I think over her last, like, five matches before she was hurt, she was hitting above 370. Yep, I was going to say. And, and just kind of got in her groove. Yeah. And, she, and previous year she had been hitting and playing multiple positions. This year kind of settled in, but it, she had just kind of got into that yep. groove where she was uh, so strong and so consistent and unfortunate uh, ankle injury and um, sidelined her since. So. She's been out since August 4th, I'm sorry, October 14th. Mm -hmm. So it's going to be almost two months that she will have been out. You could just imagine conditioning wise and you know how hard it would be to come back in such a short time period with what we have left in the season. Well, and just the explosive nature of the position as an outside and and, um, and from all the things that you do in that position and that role, um, you got to be strong and confident also. So they didn't see a touch, which uh, means the call stands, point LIU. And I think the other question is, you know, Becca Alec getting a rest tonight. We've seen this on occasion mm -hmm. throughout the year, right? I mean, Becca gets a rest, especially when there are back-to-back -back matches. So Mendelssohn in there tonight for Alec. And I know Mendelssohn has been doing a great job in practice, working hard, and a great opportunity for her to, to um, see court time and Always love to see that, and players rewarded for their hard work. Actually, Mendelssohn was also awarded for her um, through the Big Ten for Sportsman yeah. Award. Sportsmanship, yep. And really kind of talk about <laughs> exhibits high work ethics and leadership and really heart out on the court and in every day in practice. So congratulations to her. That's an honor. Good second set here for LIU. They're hanging around. 15-12 is the score in the second. The second round, I'm sorry, first round action. Second game of the day here in Lincoln. Earlier, it was Missouri with the win, knocking off Delaware. The winner of this match here tonight will take on Missouri tomorrow night right back here at the Devaney Center, 7 p.m. Central. Oh, got the touch. Mm -hmm. Thought it was over the initial block, and Harper Murray jumped up to try to nab it in the back row. Maybe it was touched at the net. Yep, I think she felt like it was touched up there, and she had to make a play yep. on it. Sabana Gonzalez, tough serve. Good pass. Just in on that back line by Andy Jackson, but what a pass by yeah. Harper Murray. Yep, watch her body moving away from the court, brings it back, keeps them in system. I would say that's one area Harper has really improved in um, is her serve receive. Mm. And she's a, been a target point for several opponents. Tried to go line, but just wide on the swing by Makura. No touch. Tough serve. Overpass, second touch, not down. Murray back line, got the kill. Taking that ball hard cross court. She had a gap in the blocks. Gives her a lot more court to swing at. She works on that back third of the, the court and gets it to fall. So we have a challenge coming up from Long Island. Amabili Martinez thought that was long. It was right in front of his bench. bench. So he had several people looking at it. He thought it was long. Well, See what our R2 has to say about it. It was very close. I thought it was maybe right on that back line. Believe so.
So what do you think about Nebraska's draw? You like it? Yeah, I do. Yeah. I really feel um, they're in a good situation to work their way through the bracket. Of course, in the next round, the seeded teams that could be headed here to Lincoln would be Kentucky, which has already won. They won tonight. Florida and Arkansas also. Although TCU with the winner, a win over Florida State tonight. Florida State was the sixth seed, and TCU knocked off Florida State. That's the thing right now, you know, to anybody can um, perform well. Right. These are all good teams. So you got to be sharp. So could have a, not only Missouri being in here from the SEC, but also could see Kentucky in here, Florida mm -hmm. in here. Yep. So SEC heavy upper it, left part of the bracket. Yeah. Great tip, got it down. Melendez with the kill. Melendez is doing a great job reading, and she knows she's got a big block in front of her, so she's making shots. She's, we aren't seeing her uh, with a lot of power swings. We're seeing her hit high hands, tip over the block, really keeping the defense off balance. There's Barrett Beeson out of the back row. Tough to stop Beeson from that back row. Uh, her hitting percentage, I would like to see her hit, hitting percentage from the back row. It's got to be pretty high. Just difficult to know where, and she's got so much court to swing at. <laughs> Bergen Rally drops one in front of Cologne. And that's Nebraska's fifth service ace in the match. Huskers four away from going up 2-0. It's 21-15 here in set number two. Huskers hitting 241 in the match to 082 for the Sharks. You know, we were talking about the SEC and how heavy this side of the bracket is. Nebraska to make the final four, if it goes chalk, would have to beat one, two, three consecutive SEC teams. <laughs> Knock off Missouri, which was seventh in the SEC. Then if Florida beats Georgia Tech, it would be Nebraska-Florida. And then if Nebraska were to win that, they would face the winner of the winner of the SEC, Kentucky, and the team that finished tied for second in Arkansas. <laughs> Harper Murray there with the kill. And now Nebraska three away. the tape <laughs> got the ace and Bergen Riley a little bashful about it six ace for Nebraska but that tape is tough to play off of and you can see where the D, the serve receive is that landed perfectly for Nebraska coach Martinez with another timeout 23 15 Nebraska here in set two Huskers in first round action taking on the Sharks of Long Island, LIU, and Nebraska two away from going on top two sets to none, and setting up a sweet possibility in the third, and a win there would send them into a matchup tomorrow night against Missouri. Tigers winning earlier tonight in a sweep. Block touch, push back, little tip, good up by Cologne. Got the top of the block, not down though, off the swing by Smith, and Mendelssohn finishes in the middle for Nebraska. Mendelssohn getting much of the play tonight as Becca Alec getting a night off to rest. And we have set point 
in the second, 24-15. Riley to serve for it. Nebraska in the middle of a 5-0 run to close it out. And that's where the run will end. M Melinda's from that back row. They utilize her back there on that big shot. She's done a nice job. Sophie Young in to serve now. The junior out of New Zealand. No doubter, Mendelssohn closes it out in the second. So Nebraska takes the first two, 13 and 16. They're on top, two sets to none over the Sharks. And now we head to the third as the Huskers try to move on in the NCAA tournament. Along with Kathy Wieskamp, I'm Larry Putney. Good to have you with us from here at the Bob Devaney Sports Center in Lincoln. First round action of the NCAA tournament tonight. One match already in the books as the Tigers of Missouri advance with a sweep of Delaware. And Nebraska now trying to do the same to LIU. Huskers on top 2-0. LIU throwing some curves at Nebraska there, though, in that second set. Absolutely. Second set, um, LIU hit 214 after negative 40 in set number one. So kind of got it back in rhythm and got some offense going. And Nebraska um, figured it out, finished it out. See how they come out here. Open up in rotation one. Off the Beeson block and out. Kill by Smith. Smith doing a nice job using that outside hand of Beeson. You know, the hitters know there's got big big hands up front. You just got to find them and then tool it off of them. Outside, tip not down. Cologne sets the back row. Kill out of the back, LIU with the 2-0 lead. That back row tech has been effective yeah. for LIU. Nebraska needs to make an adjustment there. And again, their back row attack's hard to stop, both with the block and then the second line of defense behind because there's so much court for the hitter to use and take advantage of. Number 19, Melendez, effective out of that back row. She averages three kills per set for LIU. She was also as Beeson. Beats the block there and gets the kill. Melendez was also the Northeast Conference Tournament MVP. Mm -hmm. Two-time all-conference first team out of Puerto Rico. Well, and she was number uh, one and number two. Number one in at LIU and then number two in the conference with kills this season. So definitely a high production type of player. Macy Bozinger now in to serve. First action of the night for Bozinger. Smith again, Amaris Smith. Smith doing a nice job, again, working on that inside hand of the middle blocker. That's a weak area. They got to be strong and pull and cut off that angle. Swing from that left pin and the kill by Melendez. There she goes again. Big swing here from the outside. The block did not get closed, and she recognized it and went hard through it. Tough serve. Rodriguez steps in to take it. Bait and horsed right at Cologne, who digs it. And then miscommunication on the other side. Tough Cologne did a great job picking up that big swing by Baton Horse. Just some confusion and on the offensive side. A little 
Shank pass a little tight. Leads to the point for Nebraska. Better pass. Rodriguez won't chase that smartly into the bench. <laughs> kill by Benitez. I believe that's her first kill of the yeah, match. I, I believe so. And just her second swing, so. Mm -hmm. She's a freshman out of Puerto Rico. Gonzalez now back to serve. And the ace by Gonzalez. That is her 11th ace of the season. And Nebraska, with its propensity to play to the level of its competition, is proving it right now. Struggling here in serve-receive, making some errors. Free ball kind of created some chaos over there. And a big swing there by Melendez again on the outside. She's really doing a tremendous job finding ways to get kills, even with she gets some raggedy balls out there. She's still doing something positive. Great swing and a kill. Melendez, Melendez again. I believe that gives her 10. And she leads all attackers in kills. Nebraska talking about serve receive. They're making some adjustments, pushing up. You can see kind of tight up in the left front. Off the block. Merritt Beeson. That ends the 4-0 scoring run for LIU. Kill by Batenhorst. Nice tempo ball there to the outside, which really didn't allow the blockers to get close and get in position. You can see also that little cheat um, step the opposite dire direction by Planta. Right into the block, shut down. Yeah, it's an excited Sharks team right now. They're playing well, up by five. And currently, this set they are hitting right at 500 compared to Nebraska 200. They're just doing some great things defensively um, at the block, but also then with their offense. Yeah, a little bit of energy on that mm -hmm. LIU side. And then Beeson with the tip try, tips it wide. Just making Nebraska making a lot of errors here and not good good decisions. <laughs> Off the side of the block and there Harper Murray gets the kill. Murray comes to the huddle and Talking to her team, come on, let's go. Trying to get things going and back on track there. Nice swing off the block.
And the ace for Nebraska. Kennedy Orr getting the ace and trying to get a run going here. Good start. She goes right at Cologne. Swiped off the block. Good job there by Plante. Just kind of tooling the block as it falls on Nebraska's side. Plante just seeing what she had in front of her and then making a, a smart decision with that. In comes Roulet, who again is an, a big blocker, does a great job up at the net for LIU. On the slide, Mendelssohn gets the kill. The return is long, and Mendelssohn with another kill. Mendelssohn here running behind. We see her in front most of the time, but trying to get action um, and, and hitters on all sides here across the net. Good quick tempo to the middle. Little missed time, good dig by Choboy off the top of the block. Goes Murray. Around the middle again. Mendelssohn, Murray on the block. Mendelssohn taking those hands and taking away that hard angle. You can see the approach coming in at that angle. She reaches across, dives over there, and takes it away. Again, Mendelssohn and Murray team up. Two big blocks here in this series, slowing things down and kind of swinging the momentum a little bit to the Nebraska side. Sharks take a timeout. Huskers trail by two. Twelve ten to score here at the Devaney Center. Trying to make adjustments on the shot because of the big block of Nebraska. That's really, um, as of late, giving them some trouble. The Sharks make an error on the swing, trying to make an adjustment. Challenge. By Long Island on a touch. So we've talked about all of Nebraska's accolades. We mentioned earlier that Nebraska's Bergen Riley, the first freshman to ever be named setter of the year, right? They go all the way back to 2012. We talked about that off the top. Talked about, of course, Murray's freshman of the year award and performance. Lexi Rodriguez being named defensive player of the year in the Big Ten Conference. And Merritt Beeson. Unanimous first team. It was quite a haul for this Nebraska team. Looks like a decision has been made. And stands. So Nebraska on a 4-0 scoring run. Beeson back at the serve, and she kind of finished um, set number two with a nice string back here at the service line.
Murray off the top of the block, and it lands in. Block for Long Island. They're actually out blocking Nebraska. Yeah, Roulet up there um, doing a great job. And Rubel, I believe, was the other one. She's been tough over there on the right side, really kind of um, challenged the Nebraska's outsides. Great up. And then a nice fast tempo you know, to the outside. Merritt Beeson, nice big swing on the outside, taking that hard cross court shot. Cologne got a hand on it, but just couldn't control. Bozinger with serve. Run the middle. Good tempo run the middle and the kill by Roulet. Roulet, Long. yeah, doing a, a great job getting in that quick transition. There hasn't been a ton of opportunities for her to get involved in the offense. Um, but here gets in and is successful. Another big block. Wow, look at that. LIU is doing a great job up in the net with their block setting up, staying with the hitters. Outside, right down the line goes Allie Batenhorst. Great decision there by Allie Batenhorst. She's been going cross court. That's been successful for her. The blocks kind of have created some challenges. And here you can see there's some nice space between the block and the line, and she recognizes that. But great swing again of the kill by Melinda's, and she's has a she's had a heavy hand all night. Absolutely, she goes up and is fearless. She swings hard and aggressive, and she sees what the block gives her. And she's really making s smart decisions with what type of swing she's making. Great shot. How well was that handled by Bergen Riley? <laughs> Tough pass to her, got it behind her to Beeson in tempo. She's so good about taking that ball and changing direction. If you watch her, she sets over that right shoulder and keeps it off the net and keeps herself out of the net that way too. Off the side of the block, the kill. Benitez with her second. Benitez does a nice job. She slows, walks in on that approach so she can be explosive at the end of it and makes a nice big swing, works it underneath the arms of Jackson. Great up, Cologne dives in, but they could not get it back over. Great up by Cologne, though. Cologne has been very impressive yeah. in this match. She's getting her hands on ball. She's quick to the ball and has real good control. He's just going to look how many. She's got 12 digs in the match, but she's also doing a lot of other positive things off serve, receive, and keeping the ball alive. Nebraska's block. Murray there. Like, maybe it was Jackson that got the hand on it. We'll yeah, see. We'll get a chance to look here. Right mm. there in tandem. Yep, teamwork. Here is Choboy now. Nebraska down by one. Oh, uh. nearly <laughs> over. But a great job there by <laughs> Melendez to know where she was at and to let that ball go as it trickled over. Oh, 
Rodriguez steps in, and all Murray can do is toss the free ball over. Murray inside. She'll get a swing at it. Good coverage there by Rodriguez. Good Murray second again. push. How about <laughs> swing by Smith? Amaris Smith. Big swing, slicing it underneath the block. Look at this. She just cuts that hard shot, cut shot. And a lot of energy over on LIU side of the net. LIU on top here in set number three, 1916. First round of the NCAA tournament. Back here at the Bob Devaney Sports Center. Great to have you with us for first round action of the NCAA tournament. Nebraska in a tussle here in set number three, looking for the sweep, and there is the slide. And Andy Jackson gets the kill, pulls Nebraska back to within two. That's what she needs to do consistently. Great timing, looks at the blocks, slices it inside of them, just reading the situation with explosive. She just, she's so athletic, she jumps high, great contact point, just needs to kind of clean things up a little bit, get more swings like that. Out of the back row, Beeson with the Bick. Mayor B coming up big from the back row. Two blockers off to her right. She recognizes that, takes it to the left. 19-18 here in the third. Oh, a tough serve there. Mm -hmm. Miscommunication, send it over. The tip, got it. Great tip by Smith. Smith, good decision there. Mixed that tip or had just dug a deep ball. Tiana Brasby in to serve now. At 2018 in the third. So LIU the first to 20 with that last tip. Boy, tough off the bench, cold, mm -hmm. sent into the tape. So back to serve is Bergen Riley, Nebraska back in rotation one. And this has been a good rotation yep. for Nebraska. See if they can get a run going and, or Beeson, but great up. The tip try, Riley keeps it alive. Rodriguez bump set, here's Murray again off the block. Top of the hands and Murray got the kill, or even a 20. Just a great shot there by Murray. The ball was inside, she's actually underneath it and kind of underneath the block, but she takes a big aggressive swing up at the hands of the block and directs it out of bounds. Crowd is into it as they have been all night right there. Off the block, Smith again. She's been big for LIU. So that's seven kills for Smith, but she's just making smart decisions out there and at key times taking balls and, and really um, finding the hands of Nebraska blockers. One-on-one, -on -one. no doubt, or Murray got it. So much court there for Murray. She could do whatever she wanted with that. But just before that play, you saw her talking to Bergen Riley, saying, I want the ball. I saw her just before a serve receive. And again, great execution and decision. Bozinger in to serve a 21 all for Nebraska.
Smith again. Now off the block, got a piece of it, and gets the kill. And so now Smith back to serve. 22-21 here in the third. Nebraska looking for the sweep. LIU trying to extend it to a fourth and take a set off of number one, Nebraska. Beeson got the touch. Beeson with the kill, evens it at 22. Big swing there by Beeson. She's going up against Roulet, who has been tough and has that great high contact on the block. Look at her really penetrating, but Beeson still wins the battle. Swing is long. There was no touch. And Nebraska takes the lead. And a timeout taken by the Sharks. Just over the block and long. 23-22 Nebraska. Two away from a sweep here in round one. Three, Nebraska is two away from a sweep in round one. LIU has pushed them to the brink here in the third. Rodriguez to serve. The tip, plenty of time for Riley to cover. Beeson, good dig, bump set by Cologne. Back row, there's Smith again, not down. Beeson with that tip. Cologne again. Smith again back row. Triple block for Nebraska on Smith out of the back row. Gritty play both sides. Riley behind Beeson. Good cover. Beeson again goes lane. Nebraska fighting hard for that point. Beeson doing a great job finishing it off. But great coverage too by the Huskers. Great fight, great grit by this number one ranked Nebraska team. Match point here in the third. Rodriguez to serve. That'll do it. Sometimes wow. it's about survive and advance, and Nebraska survives in the third, 25-22, knocking off LIU in round number one. And tomorrow night, a date with the Tigers out of the SEC right here on the Huskers' home floor. You know, just uh, Nebraska finished strong there, but kind of a rough third set for them, not playing very clean. You also got to credit LIU for coming out and competing. We saw some great defensive play, but Nebraska finishes it. Got to be two points better. They were two points better. Quick run through the numbers. Nebraska ends up in the match hitting 280, 289 in set number three. Merritt Beeson led the way with 13 kills. Harper Murray with nine kills, Allie Batenhorst with seven, Andy Jackson six, and Maggie Mendelson also with six. So really Nebraska very diverse, utilizing a lot of attackers to get it done here today. Um, but just uh, a good first round, yeah. a good finish for Nebraska. LIU great um, showing here. And again, I love their fight here as they came into this match and didn't quit, fought all the way till the end. So that'll do it here at the Nevada Sports Center. Round one action is in the books. Round two comes your way tomorrow as the Missouri Tigers back here at the Nevada Center. We'll have it right here live from Lincoln. The final once again, Nebraska wins it in a sweep over LIU. For Kathy Wieskamp, I'm Larry Putney for our entire ESPN Plus slash Husker Vision crew. Thanks so much for joining us. We'll see you back here tomorrow night.